This video will provide an in-depth look into the playability and global section of the Mallet Station Editor for Mac, PC, and Google Chrome. If you want to adjust the sensitivity on your instrument, you can actually adjust that here with a sensitivity setting here. This setting has a range from 0 to 1.99, and what this will do is allow you to change the response of your instrument based on the velocity coming in to Mallet Station. So if I wanted my instrument to respond to a little bit lighter touch, I can raise the sensitivity up to around 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 and that's usually pretty good for most mallets. If I'm playing with an especially light implement, I want to go a little bit higher. If I'm playing with an especially heavy implement, I go, might go below 1.0 and get down to 0 0.8, 0 0.9 in that range. The play mode is what's going to allow us to change between dampening and aftertouch mode. So in dampening mode, we can use our mallet while the sustain pedal is held down to actually put the mallet down on the keyboard and allow that to create a dampened note for a vibraphone sound, electric piano sound, or really any sound that you want. The aftertouch mode is going to allow you to use that pressure information to actually send channel pressure MIDI information back to your digital audio workstation or your software of choice. You can then, in your software, assign that pressure information to control whatever parameter you'd like. Note duration is going to be what the shortest signal is that Mallet Station sends to your software. That setting can be set anywhere from 10 milliseconds up to 150 milliseconds. Dampening threshold is what's going to allow you to change your settings to your preferences of how soft of a note you need to play to create a dampened note rather than another regular note on message. You're going to have to experiment with this to find the best setting for you. I typically find anywhere from 5 to 15 is usually a good setting for most players. Now moving on to the global section. The global section applies to everything on the instrument and is not on a per preset basis, unlike playability. So if we're wanting to change the per bar gain of our instrument, so what, what that means is if I'm having a single bar that's popping out maybe a little bit more than another, where I'm having a note that's not responding as well as another, I can turn on my per bar gain. And you'll notice this pop up here in this section up here. So now I can click on a note that's not responding as well. Let's say an A. And then I can adjust that gain up or down to find an appropriate amount. So let's say I just wanted to have it respond a little bit more. I can put it to 1.1 and then hit set bar gain. In this instance, if I wanted to turn the bar gain down, let's say a note is popping out a little bit too much, I can do the opposite and go down to 0.9 or 0.8 and then hit set bar gain. In this instance, the note was responding fine, so I'm going to go ahead and take it back to 1.0 and hit set bargain again. Now to get out of this mode, you just simply click on off one more time and that will disappear. For velocity curves, this is where we're going to go to find the default user curves and shapes on the instrument. So in this instance, I'm going to click linear, and this is going to be the default curve for most of the presets on the mallet station. But I can also change to any of the seven curves that are built in, logarithmic, exponential, light, medium, hard, and dynamic. I can also use these seven presets to also change what the user curves are saved onto the mount station. There are four user curves available, and so I can use linear as a starting point and then literally draw in with my mouse my own curve and how I want that to respond. I'm now going to save that to user curve one and hit save and send. Now that is now our user curve one on mallet station. This has been an in-depth look at the playability and global sections on Mount Station Editor for Mac, PC, and Google Chrome. Thank you for watching.